What's up guys? I want to give you an aerial tour of the California rice fields that lie within the northern Sacramento Valley right about now. I'm here at Williams Ag Service in Biggs, California, about one mile from our equipment yard and most of our rice fields. And this is certainly an impromptu episode of Rice Farming TV because I was just passing by, saw the hangar doors open, popped in, and asked if we could do an aerial tour of the rice fields around here. So let's go meet Sean, the pilot, and find out what type of aircraft we're flying because I don't think both of us are going to fit into one of these crop dusters. So let's go. Yes. Sean? Hey. What's up, man? Can I ask you some questions? I might go grab my sunglasses. If we're yeah, go grab your sunglasses. Yeah. Did you get, you got aviators though, right? I do have aviators. Yeah, because we need our pilot to have aviators on. Okay. Tom Cruise style, you know? Oh, yeah. What's your call sign? Uh, they call me Goose. They call him Goose. 1967 Cessna 182. That's what we're going to be taking up. Sean's getting his sunglasses on for his rice farming TV debut. He'll be here in just... Hey, guys. I'm Sean. Hey Sean, how's Sean? Sean's good. Sean's good? How's Matt? <laughs> I don't know, I'm a little nervous actually. I'm not yeah. nervous, no. The plane looks clean, you look clean, it looks like everything's in order. Uh, I'm a little nervous. Why? I don't know if I remember how to fly this thing. Oh. How long have you been flying? Uh, about six years. Six years, nice. Mm -hmm. Okay guys, we're going to pre-flight the airplane, make sure there's no flight restrictions within the area. Mm -hmm. We're planning, hopefully, showing you some of the rice fields that I farm, maybe Lake Oroville Dam, yep. maybe refuge, some wildlife areas, and just northern Sacramento Valley in general. However, there is one also key thing. Brought my 360 degree camera. You think we can mount this on the bottom of the plane? I think we can figure something out. Sweet. All right. Mm -hmm. So we might have a 360 degree video after this episode. Let me know if you guys would like to see it. Let's pre-flight. Yep. Okay, 360 cameras connected and working. Oh, sweet. I get my own steering wheel. Fly, oh look, my steering wheel controls your steering wheel. Mm -hmm. Sorry, sorry for touching that. Okay. I should have asked. First class. Open. Clear prop. Yes. Yes. Clear for takeoff. Sutter Buttes off to her left. California, where do I start? Hey, Flying over my uncle's shop right now. Be hard. I long to see you when the day is done. 150 acre field right there. In your We're just about coming over our equipment yard. Just south of the shop there you see a 28 acre field. Just west of the shop here is a 32 acre field. Way off in the distance, Sierra Nevada mountain range and Lake Oroville Dam. California in my mind. There is no one of your kind. I long to see you. So guys, just ahead of us, we're coming up over the Grey Lodge Wildlife Refuge. Let's take a look. Coming up over Lake Oroville, you can see how low it is. Just wanna spend some time again. We're up over the Oroville Dam, and at 770 feet high, it's the tallest dam in the U.S. Of course, it creates Lake Oroville, the second largest man-made lake in California. California, here I come. Every heartbeat just like a drum. 
there you can see the main spillway, which of course failed in February 2017, leading to the evacuation of about 200,000 people, including our family. And today, the spillway is still under construction. We're flying above the Feather River right now, over the town of Oroville, heading back to Williams Ag Service. All right, Sean just asked if I wanted to fly. Coincidentally, I asked if he wanted to record. town of Biggs, and my hometown of Gridley is right over there. Sean, I can say that I never felt unsafe, except when I was flying. Other than that, this was awesome, man. Thank you very much. I love this asphalt. Is the 360 camera still there? Oh, yeah. Shoot, it might even still be recording. I don't know. Sean's on the four-wheeler. He's pulling the Cessna back into the hangar just behind us here. Sean, is there any advice that you can give to young kids that are aspiring pilots? You know, I'd like to say just follow your dreams. It was always kind of a dream of mine, and I never thought it would be a reality, but here I am, and I get to take guys like you flying and Dude, try to scare you a little bit. Appreciate it, man. Thanks. Take care. You too. Thanks, guys. I'm out of here as well. Fly high, stay dry. Is that a thing?